Welcome back to D-Rod's M-Man Boxing. Last night, not only did we have a, a crazy fight with Tiafima Lopez and George Gambosa, Gambosa, we also had the Triller uh, event where, man, Frank Mir got put to sleep standing. Last time I saw someone knocked out standing, it was Riddick Bow versus um, Andrew Galata. That was, to me, it was crazy because, listen, if they don't stop doing with this crazy nonsense, somebody's going to die in that ring. I mean, Frank Mir is not known for, first of all, Frank Mir is a shell of his own self. He looked like he's some sort of uh, drug addict trucker out there just trying to get his last couple of dollars. I don't know, man. Like, he's trying to get money to get a hit. He looked horrible in there. He looked slow. He did fight Steve Cunningham, but Steve Cunningham was like 40-something years old, hasn't boxed in, in years. So that was a different story. And Steve Cunningham, Cunningham isn't known for his knockout power. They put him in a ring with a fighter who just fought Anthony Joshua, uh, I, I believe last year, known for punching power, a legit boxer. They put Frank Mir in there, and it could have killed him. That was a dangerous fight. I mean, I understand that people like to see blood, guts, and, and all that other stuff, but it's, it's honestly honestly a dangerous thing because Frank Mir was out on, the, out on his feet. The crazy thing about that whole situation was that Dan Mergliata, a, a MMA referee, <laughs> normally, normally known for the way he referee inside Bellator and UFC, he treated it like a regular UFC MMA event that dude was he was out on his feet he was staggering it looked like a scene from Mortal Kombat the guy was pretty much about to die and he was not going to stop the fight clearly his hands was down he wasn't defending himself he had lost complete consciousness it was as if he was in a vegetable state if Pulov was an idiot if he was just he could have hit Frank Mir one good time and finished him and could have easily put that man in the hospital and killed him. We've had so many boxing deaths and, and, and brain injuries in the last couple of years. I mean, if they're going to continue doing something stupid like this where they put um, a has-been UFC fighter in the ring with, uh, you know, Kupulov is not, is not necessarily in his prime, but he's still an active boxer. You put him in there with an active boxer, then you're going to get these type of events where somebody is eventually going to die, honestly. And then you put a UFC ring, a, 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 a MMA referee in there who has absolutely no idea about boxing rules and boxing protocol. And Frank Mir is like sitting there drunk, like he's, he's out. It, it could have killed that man. And so, you know, I, I, my, I really hope that, you know... These people who are, are trying to appeal to the fans, the Triller, um, the promoters of Triller, the promoters of um, uh, Bare Knuckle Boxing, that they put people in there that are competent and able to actually get in there and fight. If you really want to see a fight, I would like, I would pay to see Francis Nagano. Put a UFC yeah. fighter like Shane Carmen in his prime. Put a, 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 a UFC fighter who's known for knocking people out. Put him in there with, with regular MMA gloves and let's see. I mean, that would be something I would like to see. But you're putting someone like Frank Mir in there, that's, psh, listen, you're going to get somebody killed. You know, the reason why Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather was a, 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 a happy medium, a good hit, was because Floyd Mayweather is a very small guy. He's not known for his punching power at 154, 155, whatever rate they fought at. He's not known for his punching power, and he was past his prime. He's an older fighter. He's pretty. He was pretty much done with boxing. You, they put him in the ring with Conor McGregor, who was known for his punching power and had 25 pound weight advantage, and he was younger. So Floyd Mayweather went into the ring with a handicap. He was handicapped basically, and yet that was safer. That was a better. It was safer for Conor McGregor. Could you imagine what would have happened to Conor if they put him in the ring with Canelo Alvarez? Could you imagine what Canelo would do to his ribs? Could you imagine what would have happened if Conor McGregor would have gotten hit by, by Canelo Alvarez? 
We wouldn't even listen. We wouldn't even be here talking about these events no more because they will be banned from the from combat sports. Combat sports would be banned totally. He would be pretty much in a coma on one shot. I can't personally believe that that these people at Triller will put Frank Mir in the ring. And I called it when I found out that he was fighting. I went on Rampage page, and I said, "Man, somebody's gonna die." <laughs> I called it. He he almost died in there. It's ridiculous. Um, the other fight, Mike Perry. Hats off to Mike Perry. Mike Perry did really good in there. Again, um, Michael Seals is has has been inactive. Um, he's a shell of his old self. The last person he fought was like 14 wins, eight losses. That guy was a can. The last time Michael Seal fought a legit boxer, he got knocked out. So Michael Seal being nine, 39 years old, that was better for Mike Perry, who was 30 years old in his prime. It's a better matchup for him. And um, so it's safer for Mike Perry. But like I said, if you put him, put Mike Perry in there with somebody like um, Javante Davis or somebody who can really knock him out, he probably would kill that person. Uh, same thing that goes with Match Michione. Match Michione, he fought a boxer, but um, you know, the guy he fought got knocked out by Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz is like 40 some years old. <laughs> he fought a guy who had like, who's been knocked out multiple times in boxing. He's just he's pretty much, you know, he's he's a boxer, but he's not really anybody of a high caliber. Not knocking anybody. I'm just saying that was a safer fight for Matt Michione. It wasn't a safe fight for Frank Mir. It was a dangerous fight. If they want to see somebody who, um, they want to see competitive bouts that's entertaining, put someone in there that's closer in skill level, skill level and closer in just phys physicality. Frank Mir looked like, man, can he, he's not he needs to stop taking him. You know, just switch up his game. He looked horrible in there. He could have died. I hope the man retired at this point. He was hoping for his big payday. I hope he got the money he needed so he can just go right off in the sunset and vanish. This is DRoss M Man Boxing. Hit the like button, subscribe. Tell me who would you like to see in a thriller event? What boxer, what MMA fighter would you like fighting? Peace.